This segment of the news is brought to you by Desert View Hospital, providing emergency medical care around the clock at 360 South Lola Lane. Learn more at DesertViewHospital.com. Physicians are not employees or agents of this hospital. News is also brought to you by Smitty's Cards and Coins. Would you like to know what your collectibles are worth? Come by 2281 Postal Road, Unit 4, across from the post office. Welcome back to News 46. Well, President Donald Trump issued an executive order today to attempt to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act. The president is promising lower costs and more options on a bill that still has not been approved on. Consumers aren't likely to see major changes anytime soon. Some experts warn that hard-won protections for older adults and people in poor health could be undermined by the skinny, lower premium plans ordered by the president. Others say the president's plans will have a modest impact and might even help. And driverless cars have hit the road in downtown Las Vegas and in other cities. Angela Miles reports on that latest technology driving consumers. Tapping our news, Facebook COO Cheryl Sandberg is meeting with lawmakers who are investigating Russian attempts to spread false stories online during the 2016 presidential election. Recode reports Sandberg met with the House Intelligence Committee yesterday. Today, she will speak with the Congressional Black Caucus about ads allegedly bought by Russian trolls used to stir racial tensions ahead of the election. In Cook County, Illinois, the soda tax is fizzling. As of December 1st, consumers in the Chicagoland area will no longer have to pay a penny per ounce on sugary drinks. Delta landed better than expected earnings for the third quarter. The airline's revenue totaled more than $11 billion. The stock rallied in relief. The hurricanes had less of an effect than predicted. And driverless cars with no human behind the wheel reportedly will hit the road in California by June of next year. Repeating, no human driver on board. You have been warned. All right, thanks, Angela. Now let's see what's happening this week in this week's News Across Nevada. The Las Vegas Philharmonic is inviting all first responders, victims, and their families to attend their concert this weekend for free following the mass shooting on October 1st in Las Vegas. The orchestra has altered the music selections for their October 14th performance at the Smith Center to include Barber's Adagio for strings, Beethoven's Coriolan Overture, Mozart's Clarinet Concerto, and will conclude with Beethoven's Symphony No. 5. Tickets to the show are available on a first-come, first-served basis, and supplies are limited. Tickets can be reserved at the box office online or by calling 702-749-2000 using the redemption code LVPHPM. There is a limit of four tickets per person. The doors open at 6.30 p.m. for a pre-concert conversation for the 7.30 p.m. show. Try in Civil War uniforms, learn to march and drill in formation, and participate in a mock skirmish with other visitors in a hands-on, family-friendly event. Learn from knowledgeable reenactors and see historic weapons, including a light cannon and the arms carried by Civil War soldiers. This Saturday, October 28th at 10 a.m. at Spring Mountain State Park on Highway 159 in Blue Diamond. Also Saturday and Sunday, October 28th and 29th, Spring Mountain State Park will host a gathering of costumed reenactors who bring the fur trade of the 1830s to life. A village of teepees, lean-tos, and tents spring to life as the hard-bitten trappers and explorers gather to compete, joke, and trade with each other and to teach each other what life was like when Nevada was just an unexplored region on the map. Entry to Spring Mountain State Park is $9 per vehicle with a $2 discount for Nevada residents. On Saturday, October 14th, the Bureau of Land Management and the Nevada Department of Corrections, Silver State Industries are hosting a saddle-trained wild horse and burro adoption at the Northern Nevada Correctional Center located at 1721 Snyder Avenue, south of Carson City, Nevada. Public viewing begins at 9 a.m. and a competitive bid adoption conducted by an auctioneer follows at 10 a.m. The starting bid for all the animals is offered at $150. 18 saddle-trained wild horses from herd management areas on BLM-administered public lands will be offered for adoption. They are trained by inmates in the Nevada Department of Corrections program and receive at least 120 days of training. 
The once wild horses range in age from two to seven years old and vary in weight and color. For more information, you can give a call 775-885-6146. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada. And we'll tell you about your chance to go up, up, and away for free this weekend after the break.